Hello everybody, Princess Navarra here. Today we're at Animal Kingdom. We're here to go to Yak and Yeti. Yes, we haven't been here in quite a long time. It's one of our first videos, I think. It is one of our first few video places. He loves this place. I'm not a huge fan. Maybe they'll win me over. We'll see. Yes, we're gonna go in and uh, eat. Thank you. Eat. Yeah. Be sure to disco Yeti? You heard the bell. between this noodle bowl, which you guys has like no noodles in it. There's like rice, not noodles. But um, this is the vegetable noodle bowl. The other option, vegan option available was a Beyond Burger. I didn't go with it, but it did sound interesting with like vegan pepper jack and all that cool stuff. But I went for a vegetable plate instead. Um, now if this sauce is a sriracha vegan aioli sauce. We got some rice, some beautiful brown cauliflower, a couple of other veggies. Let me grab this uh, onion here. All right, we got a nice full bite. Maybe put a little bit of the lime on it too. All right. That is very flavorful. Wow. An explosion of flavor, spice, savory, sweetness. It's like a perfectly balanced bite. This is leaps and bounds better than that lo mein that I got last time. Vegetable lo mein with tofu. Pretty standard. Nothing really stand out about it. I would agree that's okay, but it's good. I'm definitely doing it again. I would come back for this, absolutely. Oh, so good. I'm really surprised. I expected this place to be like a total dud. But I love this. It's definitely a pretty looking plate. The slaw on top, you have like these glazed carrots, the cauliflower is nice and roasted and seasoned all the way through. 
this rice. I do wish there were more noodles. Like if you're gonna call it a noodle bowl, I expect noodles. I demand noodles. If you tell me, I'm gonna get them. There's some lime juice here. Now that's a dish greater than some of its parts. At its core, it's really just vegetables on top of rice. But the seasonings, the char and the smokiness of the veggies with the lime, the slaw on top is sort of give it like that tangy sweet. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Everything comes together for this feels like a meal. Not just like you dump everything on a plate and here's your plant-based option. This is really good. I would order this and actually probably be full afterwards. This is solid. Four and a half out of five loss. If there were noodles in here, it would probably be a five out of five. I decided to mix the healthy with the fat. So we got this chilled ahi tuna salad. This is lunch after all, until we're parked to walk around. And I couldn't resist some coconut shrimp, which are like butterfly sauce here. That's a solid shrimp entry. I would say that the other one these restaurants have been to the public shrimp, the coconut shrimp. Mm. It's a meaty boy. Four and a half out of five. I had better coconut shrimp than this, actually. This isn't bad. Two and a half out of five. Oh, as for the salad, it does seem a bit weak on the ahi tuna. Usually, you know, I hate tuna salad. I'm not expecting a whole lot to him to begin with, so I'm not surprised, but they're kind of small pieces. Got some uh, wonton crisp in here, some julienne, zucchini, normal salad stuff, grape tomatoes, ginger, and a ginger dressing. A little bit of the green stuff, some of the tomato. Let's just go all in on a whole piece of ahi tuna. Tuna looks good perfectly. Not dry, the last piece of tuna I had. One of my normal bear moments. Ordered a tuna bowl, thinking that it was gonna be like a tuna poke bowl. And it, it uh, it's two slabs of tuna rice. And then uh, what looks to be a curry sauce. And it is dry and chewy. Two out of five plus, it's just barely edible. Not my jam, would not order this again. That's it. Good surprise. I wasn't expecting much from this dish, but everything comes together. All the seasonings on top, even before you put the dressing on. The ginger dressing has a slight little kick to it. It appears perfectly with the ahi tuna. It's like a full explosion of flavor in your mouth. This is a solid four out of five claws. I do think the princess dish is better though. Everybody. So we just finished that yak and yeti. Bear's trying to beat up my ears. Apparently. I am today. It was much better than I remember. Yes. Which is a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Even though I went light with the food, very satisfied with what I got. I am jealous of the princess dish because it was really that good. Um, and then we were able to get our favorite beer to go. Yeah, we got a victory golden monkey. How awesome is that? Finally. Yes, because our other two bars are normally served are closed right now. Yeah. So. That just makes it more awesome. The service is amazing. Uh, we invested in a Landry's card when we went to Bubba Gump, so we used that. And our, our meal actually was quite a bit off. It was like $47. Yeah. It was so cheap. Yeah, this is one of the cheapest uh, table service meals we've had at Disney in a long time. Yeah. But uh, it was definitely good and worth the visit. 
as being one of the uh, restaurants that opens the earliest here in Animal Kingdom now, I'm definitely suggesting next time you guys come here, go here. Yeah, I was not a fan the last time we came, but now I am a fan and I'm totally down. I recommend anybody, if you have some time to kill, if you have a Landry's card, you get priority seating, like just go to Yak and Yeti. It's so good. Tiffin's is good, but I, I, I think I like Yak and Yeti better now. All right, well, have you guys been to Yak and Yeti lately? If so, let us know in the comments of what your experience was or if you plan to come. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Yeah. <laughs>